Hi, I'm Nino Isakadze. I'm Cardiac Electrophysiology Fellow at Johns Hopkins. And I've been working with American Heart Association for now four years. Uh, so we have started our research with the human-centered design and really understanding what the problems and challenges are of patients with atrial fibrillation. And we got them together as well as clinicians to understand how we can improve their care. And what we came up together was uh, digital health interventions to uh, get the guideline recommendations to the fingertips of patients and reach patients outside the walls of the hospital. So uh, together with the patient as well as clinician input uh, in an equitable way, with the, including diverse patients, we uh, came up with a virtual atrial fibrillation management program. And we have just published a paper describing this process. And now as a next step, we are um, doing a clinical trial. We're bringing this virtual atrial fibrillation management program uh, in the patient care. And we're gonna be evaluating uh, patient's satisfaction as well as engagement in this program. And with the feedback, build farther, you know, even better uh, version of this uh, program. Um, and as a next step, we're going to be uh, doing a multi-center clinical trial to evaluate the effectiveness of this intervention in preventing stroke and in improving, improving quality of life. Great question. So this is a multi-level intervention. So we have a Cori app, mobile app that is, you know, that was further developed with the input from patients and clinicians, as well as wearable technology and a, human, a little bit of human touch to increase the patient engagement with weekly check-ins from the nurses, as well as uh, community. So we're building the, we're integrating the social media groups uh, to for patients to have a sense of community as they are learning and uh, living with atrial fibrillation. So there's a lot of uh, different um, you know, different components uh, that create this uh, program to, that will be delivered to patients who are recently diagnosed with this arrhythmia. Absolutely, you bring the point that is, you know, near and dear to uh, my heart because I've been working closely with the Center for Health Equity and my colleague, you know, doing this uh, design sessions is the program director at Johns Hopkins Center for Health Equity. And what we um, found through this, um, you know, working with patients is that uh, there are multiple different barriers for technology implementation, including technology literacy, and we're addressing them step by step. For example, for um, technology literacy, we have designed uh, different types of videos that have uh, for patients with different levels of uh, health uh, technology literacy um, that help them on board to this intervention and that walk them through step by step how to download the app and how to access their email and so forth. Um, so, and also our team is, you know, strongly advocating for implementing and, you know, allowing payers to uh, be able to reimburse for the services that, you know, first we need to create the evidence that this works and uh, along the way, um, you know, uh, come up with the models to pay for the intervention. Absolutely. So American Heart Association has been integral. Uh, you know, first with the uh, enrollment, helping with the enrollment of the patients from the community, as well as funding our efforts as the Human Centered Design Study was uh, funded by the AHA's uh, Community Action Task Force uh, grant. Um, so as well as promoting this, so um, and giving us platform to share our, you know, uh, our research. So we c we're extremely happy to continue collaboration with the American Heart Association.